Stampers, Jackie Ball Heights and Clapham Stampers, stamping with you from Zealand, Michigan today. Hey, I have another card with you using free as a bird. I think I've told you this is probably my favorite stamp set in the whole new catalog. Yeah, I'm sorry if you're sick of it. Um, by now, I'm sure you've seen it. You know it's a bundle with the fabulous lay labels. I can't even talk. The label framelits. Those framelits are going to be a standard in my stamping with all different stamp sets. So why not get it with the best stamp set as a bundle? But also, don't forget, I have an online stamping class using this stamp set. 12 project tutorials, so you'll be able to stamp like crazy with it. Now make sure you check out my website if you don't know about that stamping class already. The 10th is the deadline to get the stamping class for free and you don't want to miss out. But today, we're not talking about the class, we're talking about another project. Now like almost all of my projects over on the blog, I'll give all the details. Everything I use along with all the measurements, the card recipe and everything you need. So if you want to make the card I have to share with you today, hop on over there and you can find out all the details that you need. But we're going to do some stamping today and we're going to talk about stamping blends. Now I'm not, or I should say, I never was much of a colorer. I didn't like to really color, probably because I didn't like markers. I am so in love with, with coloring with stamping blends. Um, I don't mind coloring at all. Actually, I love it. It's very therapeutic. So perfect stamp set to color with stamp and blends. Now, if you've never colored with alcohol markers, don't let them scare you. They're super simple to color with, especially when you color my way, the super simple way, because everything I do is quick and easy. So without further ado, let's go ahead and flip this camera down. I want to show you the card I'm making today, give you some tips for coloring with blends, and show you a little bit more with the stamp set and the dies. So let's flip it down. Here's the card that we're making today. It's really very easy. And these dies just change the layering look of cards so much. Like I said, I am so in love with these. Now, the first thing we're gonna do, let's set that aside. I have the birds and the branch all um, on my block here. We're gonna ink it up with Memento. Now remember, whenever you're coloring with Stampin' Blends, the alcohol markers, you need to use the Memento ink pad looks like this because it won't smear okay on the other hand if you're going to do some water coloring this isn't the pad because it's going to smear when you use water either regular markers watercolor pencils aqua painter any of that so go ahead and make sure you're using the right black depending on what you're doing now I'm gonna set that aside for just a second and let it dry while we go ahead and look at the first layer of our card so I have a piece here that is four by five and a quarter. Once again, remember all these measurements will be over on the website. And I've already cut the window out of it using one of the dies. Now you will notice my dies, I have numbered them. I just used a Sharpie marker. I started with number one as the smallest, one, two, three, and they kind of go back and forth. So number eight is the biggest. Now I found it really hard when I was writing card recipes to give you dimensions, because it's like, is it the inside measurement, the outside measurement, you know, because they're not square. So I will refer, whenever I talk about using these dies from here on forward, I'll always refer to the number. I think that'll help you know which one I use, and it'll always help you as well, because you know that eight is you know, a little bit bigger than seven. So those two will layer really nice and so on and so forth. So I used number eight. So this was the biggest one. Just centered it, eyeballed it, centered it on there, ran it through my big shot, and we have our layer. Now this you can save to use another time on another project. So we'll just set that aside. And then I'm using an ink pad that I have not used in a while. Well, that's not really true. I use it for embossing but I haven't used it for regular stamping in a long time. Um, think of the Versamark pad as a clear pad. It just kind of gives you what we call um, a tone on tone look. So I could stamp on this frame using Pool Party because it's Pool Party cardstock, but it's a little bit dark. I wanted a really subtle flower images all around my frame. And notice I'm just spinning it, but this Versamark will just give us that real subtle tone on tone. Beauty of it, you can use Versamark on any colored cardstock to get that subtle look. Now, as it dries, it'll get a little bit darker so that you'll be able to see it a little bit better. So let's set that aside and come back to our piece of Whisper White stamped in Memento. The other key when using blends, make sure you're using the Whisper White. It's the best cardstock for those blends. 
Now let's do a little coloring. So I always like to use the blends in the light and dark combination. So you can buy them individually or you can buy as a combo. Get, always get the combo. And then when you look on it, you have the small, more of a bullet tip and then more of the brush tip. I almost always use the bullet tip. So we're gonna go ahead, oops, wrong one there. Take these covers off. They are a little hard to get off, but that's so that they seal on there really good. And then to color my birds, I'm gonna start with my yellow and we're going to color in his whole body there. Then I like to go to my dark and wherever it has like these little dashes, I guess, that's kind of shading lines. The artist made it really easy for us. So I did the dark there and I came back and I grabbed my light and I just kind of blended it, went over it. I mean, if you want a little bit more dark down here, put a little dark and just switch back and forth from dark to light. Beauty of these blends is you're not gonna get those marker lines, okay? So we'll go to the next one. Now you do wanna kind of work in a section at a time. So in this case, one bird at a time. Don't go and put all the light on all of the birds because then it won't blend as well because it'll dry. It'll get nice and dry for you. So we're coming, I always go light, dark, and I come back with that light. And you can see how it's blending to give those different shades in there. Um, don't have to be an artist to do this, but I think it gives a great kind of artist look. Okay, I am not artistic at all. And see how I'm just switching back and forth. Now I know some people prefer to do dark first. Um, if that works better for you, by all means, go ahead and do that. And then make sure when you put your tops on, do you hear that click? Push them down on your table and make sure you get the click so that you know they're sealed. Now with the greens, we're gonna do the exact same thing. I'm not gonna color this whole image for you because I'm sure if I show you one of each color, you'll be able to know. But the leaves, the same thing. I like the light and then I'll put a little dark on half of it and I'll come back with that light and color it. So we'll just add a little light and dark to each one. And that's what adds some dimension in there. So there's our leaves. Let's see, put the right color, cap on the right color. And the same thing, so that was Old Olive. Then for the flowers, I use the Pool Party so that it coordinates with the cardstock we're using. Whoops, pulling the wrong tips off here. And same thing, I colored it with the light. Now in this case, there's not necessarily shading lines, so I tend to just put a little dark on that left-hand side and blend it out. And when it's all said and done, you'll have those different shades going there. So there's our Pool Party. And then finally, I did soft suede down here on the branch. So we'll color in the branch with the light, take the dark and wherever we got the little marks and then scribble a little bit and then come back in and go over it. And then we'll get our varying shades of the browns on there. So that is how I color the bird. And then once it was all colored, I went to my dies and I took number seven. So it's the next size down. I put the nice little frame right on there, ran it through the big shot. And then to put my card together, I just used a crumb cake base, five and a half by eight and a half, layered my pool party on there. And then the white, I popped that up on with dimensional. So again, we've got some texture going there. You can see it's lifted up a little bit. Made a little bow with this new lace trim that's part of the Bird Ballad Suite. Love this stuff. You can tie bows really easy with it. Tied a little bow, added a glue dot. And then for the inside, I always put a piece of four by five and a quarter to finish off the inside. And you can see here too, I took a couple other stamps in the set, stamped them, colored them with the blends, added another greeting on the inside. And there we go. That's today's card. So I hope you guys love Free as a Bird stamp set as much as I do. Um, and also the label dies. And like I said, these dies, you're going to see so many of these dies for me, you're going to be sick of them. Don't forget about the the bird ballad online class the blog has all the information on that or if you can't find it leave me a comment and i'll help you find it and also if you have any questions about coloring with stamp and blends like i said i was never a person that liked to color until i started coloring with these i could sit and color all day long they're super simple 
So as always, if you have any questions about stamping, stamping up, um, if I can help you in any way, make sure to let me know. I'm a full-time Stampin' Up! demonstrator. I think I live and breathe 24-7 this stuff, and I love to share. I love to help you make quick and easy cards. So make sure you reach out to me and let me know how I can help you. And don't forget, if you need a Stampin' Up! catalog and you don't already have a demonstrator, I would love to send you one. I'd love to be your demonstrator. If you need to order anything, hop on over to the website, place your online order, and don't forget to check out my rewards program. I love to give my customers freebies when you choose me to order from. So with that, you guys have a stamp happy day.